Hey guys and girls, so we are back and we are making another video that might be able to assist some of you people out there that are having some issues with Xbox Live and Call of Duty Warzone. So I'd like to say first of all thank you to everybody who has recently subscribed, all the nice comments, uh, all the questions, everything, the support, the views, greatly appreciated. I didn't think that it would go uh, this far and I was not expecting this kind of reaction so thank you thank you very much um, really I just posted this video because it had frustrated me that the developers didn't uh, do their part to figure out this stuff before they launched the new Call of Duty Warzone Pacific but uh, yeah I just wanted to make a video to help everybody else out you know just through all the frustration that I was dealing with so what we've done is we've created a whole new account this account does not have Xbox Live gold it just has the basic live we're gonna see if it works we've had some people ask the question if you just buy game pass will uh, it allow you to play this game without any glitching so without further ado we're gonna try to get into warzone and just a note I've gone ahead and force closed uh, the the game so that it'll start fresh again it says that it's been interrupted which is not a big deal we'll try getting back in hopefully it asks us which account we want to be in uh, if not I'm hoping that it's going through obviously and playing under my subliminal 64 but I don't think it is yeah it's still under my regular account not going to fill this and we'll try playing some plunder duos I'm pretty sure it's not it's not doing what I think it's supposed to do I think it's getting tricked and it's thinking that I've got Xbox Live Gold because I have it on my other account um, my primary account but on this account I don't have it, but I think it's confused. We'll just see what it does. And that's the other thing I found too. I've never had to wait this long to get into a game. Um, so something's up with uh, their system. Could be that it's just um, the amount of players that are on there. I don't know. Seems like it's going to let us in. Yeah, it's letting us in. I 
that's really all I wanted to do, is just prove you could get into the game. So the problem might be fixed, guys and girls. So guys and girls, we got out of that match, we had no issues with anything shutting down, just a slight bit laggy, but um, here's the account that we created just to see if everything worked. And when we go into my subscriptions, just wanted to show you that I don't have, it says you don't have any subscriptions. So when you go see available subscriptions, then it comes up with Game Pass, Game Pass, Xbox Live Gold. Uh, it really appears that, yeah, I don't actually have Xbox Live Gold on this account, so everything should be fixed right now with um, with the integration with Xbox and uh, Call of Duty Warzone, Caldera, Pacific, whatever you want to call it. We just showed that uh, you can get into a game, we could play it through, and uh, really had no no issues. So. Follow all the videos that I've put out. There's uh, some good tips in there. One of them being make sure that you have a fresh set of batteries because if it dies in the middle of a game, it'll lock you right out. You can't do anything but shut down the game by going back to the main screen. So you'll lose any uh, progress that you've got and all that. So make sure you've got uh, batteries charged up. The next uh, tip is make sure that you don't go through and change any of your loadouts like upgrade the name, upgrade the attachments, and make a save spot for it. So you can actually um, save a loadout uh, for each gun with all the attachments that you want. Do not do that. It will force close everything. And if you're in the middle of uh, a match or if you're in between matches with a squad, it'll boot you right out of there. So don't do that. Watch my first video that I posted. It shows uh, some of the... Uh, settings that you need to be using for uh, war for Warzone. Make sure that uh, you're following that, so that there's less chances of glitching, lagging, and all of that. And it looks like, at least now, knock on wood, we should be okay to play on Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox One S, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X. All those Xboxes, we should be able to play. Call of Duty, free to play, as it was starting back in April of 2021. Hopefully the developers have figured their stuff out. Hopefully they realize that we make up probably a third or more of the players out there on Call of Duty. And uh, yeah, I'm still waiting for that uh, one month of Xbox Live Gold being paid back from the developers, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. So, anyways, I hope I helped you guys and girls out. If you found it helpful at all, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Tell me why down in those comments. If you're new to the channel, think about hitting subscribe. We're going to try to post some videos like this that will help everybody get back on and get playing. So until the next time, you never know unless you bear. Take it easy.